Hello ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to know how to create and animate this beautiful slide, well, I'll show you step by step in this video, so let's go! This tutorial was inspired by 2018 epic presentation template, link is in the video description and for now let's just choose one slide, which will be our example slide, and we will create one for ourselves step by step. So let's open up a fresh blank new presentation. Let's choose blank slide layout and let's paste the original picture. Insert a new slide where we will do all of the magic. And the first step go to insert shapes and choose a rounded rectangle and draw a rounded rectangle which nicely covers this, you know, center piece of the slide. So basically you have to cover both of these photos, this top photo and bottom photo. Use this orange bubble to adjust the roundness of your rectangle. Beautiful! Now we have to break this shape into two pieces, so how can we do that? Well, first of all, make sure it has no outline. And now let's go to view and activate guides. Guides will help us to break this piece into two pieces. And now let's insert a usual rectangle. Draw it somewhere at the bottom. Let's change its color to orange. Now select both of these shapes. Go to merge shapes and choose subtract. Beautiful. Now let's duplicate this top shape move it a little bit lower, rotate it, and here we have the bottom part, you know, of this rectangle. Nice, now let's select both of these shapes, cut them, Control X, let's go to the Slide Master view, insert a new slide layout, and let's paste these two shapes that we have just created. Now let's insert a picture placeholder, Send it to back and select with the shift key the top shape and choose intersect. And now let's repeat the same procedure for the bottom shape. And this way we have created two image place holders for our rounded rectangle. Beautiful! So now let's get back to the normal view, right click on our slide and choose this newly created slide layout. Beautiful! Now we can deactivate the guides and let's fill these image placeholders with any picture that we want. We can click on crop and adjust the positioning of our photo. And we can even flip this photo horizontally. Now for the bottom picture let's insert this photo of a city, I think it looks beautiful. And now let's create these rounded shapes on the edges of the slide. So once again, use the rounded rectangle. And just use these rounded, you know, bubbles at the corners to adjust the roundness of your shape. Now once again, let's insert a simple rectangle so that we can, you know, trim off the end of this rounded shape with the help of the subtract function. No outline. And now let me show you how you can add this beautiful gradient to your shape. So I have already done it previously, so let me just mix up the colors to black and yellow, something like that. And let me show you how to achieve this, you know, green to blue gradient. So just use the eyedropper tool and copy any color that you want. And of course adjust the direction of your gradient, that's it. Now let's duplicate this shape, rotate it. Choose Solid Fill and let's copy with the eyedropper tool this uh, dark grey color 
and let's paste these two shapes to our slide. Now let's just align these shapes to the right places where they belong. So just select the bottom photo and align to each side. Now let's add a little bit of shadow for both of these shapes. And now let's apply the same shadow options to the second shape. Beautiful! Okay, now I think we can start working with those text boxes and let's start with the number 2018 and let's do it 2019. So let's just insert a text box and let's type in 20. Let's set the font to Lato Black. Font size 120. And let's add a little bit of shadow so that our number 20 stands out a little bit better in the slide. Now let's just hit Ctrl D to duplicate this text box. And let's type in 19. So 2019. That's coming up. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can continue inserting the remaining text boxes. So once again, click on text box, type in 25, let's set the font to Lato Black and font size 50. And let's actually change it to 31, so the last day of the year. And let's paste this text box to our slide, change it to white color. Let's type December below. Let the font, I mean let the light for the font. And let's reduce the font size to 20. Adjust the positioning. And if you want to quickly copy the, you know, text boxes as I just did, you can always, you know, click the control key and just drag it with your mouse and this way you will quickly copy a text box. And now let's just type Happy New Year. Ladies and gentlemen, Happy New Year. Let's just go to paragraph and adjust, you know, the spacing between the lines a little bit so you can go to exactly options and type the points you want. So in this case we have 18 points for the paragraph spacing. I think in this case we could even do 20 points for the exact spacing. Nice, so it will have you know the same height as the 31 December text boxes. Now let's just copy this text box and let's insert a little bit of text. I have already written it here in the notepad, so let me just copy it and paste it in this text box. So let's just grab the side of this text box and resize it so it now fits into the shape. And let's reduce the font size to 11 so that everything fits nicely. This is, you know, a little bit of text you know, where I'm thanking you guys because you are so wonderful supporters, watchers and commenters. <laughs> so thank you very much for all of your support through the years. Okay, so now we can grab all of these text boxes and once again while holding down the control key, we can make a copy and drag it down here below. 
Let's change up the text boxes a little bit. 60,000 subscribers. So thank you very much guys. We will reach 60,000 subscribers very soon. So man, I could never believe this would happen one day, but it's happening. Thanks to you guys. Thank you very much. And let me show you how you can add this gradient color to these two text boxes. Let's go to Union. And now let's just copy the gradient from the shape and paste it to these text boxes. Beautiful! And now what's left is to apply animations to the different parts of our slide. So let's just go to Animations and let's apply fly in animation to the top photo and let's set duration to two seconds and let's add a bounce end of 1.5 seconds beautiful now we can select this shape and copy the animation and paste it to the bottom shape let's make sure it starts with previous and we change the direction from the opposite way beautiful now we can paste the animations to the rest of the shapes on the slide just make sure from which direction your objects are flying in from the top from the bottom or from the sides and for these shapes with the text boxes let's group them into groups and let's add fly in animations as well but let's just add a little bit of delay for these uh, groups for example like 0.2 seconds this will add this additional animation flavor So ladies and gentlemen, this is how the end result looks like. Now you know how to create and animate this kind of slide. So thank you for watching very much. Thank you for watching my videos through all of the years. I'm so grateful to have, soon have 60,000 subscribers. I wish you a wonderful happy new year and all of the best in the next year. So I'll see you on my next video.